Things are back to normal in this Parkway Village neighborhood. Yards are being cut. With renewed hope, crime will also be cut. Unfortunately, violence did make its way into the area Thursday. You know, the main street, you're going, you're going, you, you asking for it. But if you ask this man who does not want to reveal his identity, it's both city and state leaders he's looking towards to help keep the streets safe. Well, yes. you need to talk to Bill Lee that, uh, <laughs> that governed that, um, that, 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 that gun law and buckle down. Police were called here tonight on a road as a tow truck driver was working to take back Alexis. Without warning, detectives say the car's owner, Adarius Green, came out with a gun. One shot was fired, hitting the tow truck, fortunately not the driver. It is alleged Green then hops into his Lexus, hightailing it out. But police did not have a hard time finding him. You see, Green's car was equipped with an active tracker, leading police here to Airways Boulevard and Pecan Circle. But things did not end there. You see, Green traveled a few miles where he was in order to surrender but he had no plans on doing so. Following a short foot pursuit, he was eventually arrested here at Charging Road. Neighbors in the area telling us they saw him hiding behind a home before police also made that discovery. You got um what I would call disturbed people that's um aggravated. Green is now charged with aggravated assault, evading arrest, and being a felon with a gun. In Parkway Village, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3.